to you by Hills Pet Nutrition. Vets number one choice. Um, this is one of the routes that we're taking to try to predict, I guess, uh, or forecast what, kind, what effects climate change is going to have on a disease. So we're using, um, as a measure of the risk of a disease, uh, this R0, which hopefully you've all heard of. R0 is the number of secondary infections arising from the first infection introduced into a susceptible host population. And we epidemiologists love R0 for a number of reasons. One is, it actually does tell us something meaningful about a disease. When we look at different diseases with different r noughts, it explains something really important about them. Secondly, we can define it mathematically and start to calculate what we think it ought to be. And thirdly, it has a threshold value, and we very much like thresholds. And in this case, a threshold of one means the disease will just sort of potter along, but below one, and it should peter out, and above one, it should ex increase into a growing epidemic. So what we've done here, we have the, uh, the R0 um, for blue tongue, described at the, at the top. And the different components of it, I'm not certainly not going to go through it, we can, um, we can obtain information about them from, from the literature, some of from my own work here on transmission routes, probabilities and so forth. Most importantly, some of those components are extremely sensitive to climate. They're, most of those uh, numbers there, most of those variables are insect related anyway and a number of them are driven or determined by, by the temperature and, and possibly rainfall in some cases. And through the information in the literature, we're able to explore what the R0 of a disease should be at a given time or place dependent on the climate there and how it will change as climate changes. This presentation is brought to you by Hills Pet Nutrition. Vets number one choice.